All right, if you have a homomorphism, the only way to get two things equal to each other is if their cosets are the same, where k is the kernel. So the kernel is related to cosets, which is related to the homomorphism. So we have if and only if, so let's suppose first that phi of a equals phi of b. And here, all right, what am I really doing? phi of a equals phi of b. That's how I'm going to start. Well, I can multiply both sides by phi of a inverse. And that gives me the identity of g, identity of h, sorry, equals phi of b, phi of a inverse. And so e of h is equal to, oh, phi of a inverse is equal to phi of a inverse. I said it the wrong way. Phi of a inverse is equal to phi of a inverse. Now I can use the homomorphism property here. Phi of b a inverse. And that means that b a inverse is in the kernel. So that's where I get e of h is equal to phi of b a inverse. This is in the kernel. And so then I get b a inverse belongs to the kernel. And essentially I can just multiply both sides by a. And I'm just left with b belongs to k a. But if I have an element belonging to a coset, that means that kb equals ka, which is what I want to show. Now I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to suppose that these are equal, and I'm going to show that phi of a equals phi of b. a, b inverse is going to be in the kernel. So phi of a, b inverse is going to be the identity because a, b inverse is in the kernel. That's what the kernel means. Just reverse my, my log. And I get that phi of b equals phi of a. And we're done. Thank you.